Hello, uh, this is Ajay Pleasure. Welcome again. Uh, previously, I have used this uh, data uh, to show you an example of application of uh, Newton's forward interpolation formula. Uh, in this kind of data, uh, consider the year as x values. Uh, so, uh, the difference between uh, any two x values, uh, that is the interval, is uh, always equal. Uh, so, what if uh, the case uh, is that these intervals are not equal. For unequal intervals, a Newton introduced another formula called Newton's general interpolation formula. To use this formula, I have to construct a divided difference table. Uh, this is a divided difference table where I have some uh, x values or some inputs, I have some uh, functional values or the y values either, and the first order difference is simply uh, the difference between two y values divided by the difference between two consecutive x values. So, this is the first order difference, and using this uh, same formula, I can calculate the other differences of this table. Uh, so, uh, recall this formula, I have to write down it in my code. And this is uh, Newton's uh, general interpolation formula. Uh, in this formula, I have a fixed value if for x naught, that is the first y value, or the y value corresponding to the point x naught. Uh, in the first term, I have some uh, a term uh, like x minus x of zero. Uh, the second term, x minus x of zero times x minus x of one. And so forth. It uh, the, the suffix is, will continue up to n minus one times uh, if we uh, if we get to the nth term of this formula. So uh, the, uh, this will be a um, yeah, useful logic to use in my code. Uh, again, uh, uh, the if and clearly see this is the first order difference at this point, and it's the second order difference, and it's the third, and so forth. It will continue like this. So I can just uh, adjust. Uh, I can just find this difference, uh, adjusting uh, the number of columns shifting to right side. Okay, uh, so using this uh, simple logic, I can construct the uh, divided difference table, and afterward I can interpret this formula. Okay, so let's go back to my code. So this is it. Firstly, I have taken all the necessary inputs. Uh, at first, I have taken how many uh, observations do you have, or how many x values or uh, y values do you have. You have to uh, tell this one first. And then I can uh, take the input of x values and I can take the input of y values. Afterwards, I have just introduced this formula uh, to calculate the values uh, of differences in the divided difference table. And store it in a matrix. So I want. I would like to just explain how to work with this formula. So I would like to and just run this code to this. And uh, I would like to enter four values of x, so the five, six, nine, eleven, and y values are twelve, thirteen, fourteen, six. My uh, divided difference table has been constructed. I just need to it. now. I would just like to tell you how I constructed my divided difference table. So when j is equal to and i is equal to one, uh, I have in this formula y of one plus one, so y of two comma j minus one, that is two minus one y of one. This is thirteen, and this is the y one, y of one, and uh, likewise uh, y of uh, i that is y of one comma j minus one that is two minus one is equal to one. So I have uh, y of one minus y of zero as the denominator of this formula, and let's check the denominator. Uh, x of uh, 1 plus 2 minus 1, that is 
x of 2 comma uh, 1 so this is 6 and I have likewise x of i comma 1 that is x of 1 comma 1 and that is 5 so from the input values I can see 6 and 5 those are uh, x of 1 and minus x of 0 so this formula generates the uh, formula to construct uh, a better difference table. So as it is verified, I just like print my different difference table. So here it is. And now I'm going to show you how to interpret Newton's uh, general interpolation formula uh, okay so first we have got to take the input uh, uh, the point uh, around which you want to estimate the value and uh, I just uh, want to run this code first okay, okay here I declared a uh, uh, variable yxi is equal to zero. Uh, just to, to uh, just to make uh, just to help me out restoring uh, my values calculated up here. And uh, for calculating the if terms, I have to multiply multiple terms. That's why I have declared another variable p is equal one. And now uh, I'm gonna tell you how does this uh, follow works. When i is equal one, uh, y i is equal zero uh, plus P times y y is of uh, one comma one. Uh, that is simply the fifth value that I uh, called f of x naught in my formula. This p calcul uh, this p is used to uh, find the values of the x terms that uh, those are x minus x sub zero times x minus x sub one and so forth. Uh, like uh, uh, for i is equal 1, I have uh, x i minus x of 1. Uh, x of 1 is the first uh, value of the obvious variable, which is uh, si simply x of 0 according to the formula. Now, when i is equal 2, uh, I have p equal uh, x minus x of 0 according to my formula stored already. Uh, and, and that value will be used when i, uh, I becomes 2. Uh, multiplied by the uh, simply the first order difference at the point x of 0 and x of 1. Uh, so, uh, this is how this uh, formula works, uh, and uh, just changing the indices uh, of i, uh, the other terms and the values of other terms uh, are being calculated. And uh, for an example, I would like to uh, find a value at a point 0.7. Uh, which is 13.47 approximately uh, and this is how to interpret uh, Newton's general interpolation formula in MATLAB. Uh, if you have any questions or any problem then please leave it on the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.